Hello everyone welcomes into my channel everything ps. With UMD in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a vector bunny in Illustrator. Select the rectangle tool. Click and hold shift to draw a square. Hold alt or option and drag to duplicate the selected object. And to adjust the size of your shapes. Just hover over the sides and corners. Click and drag and repeat the process until you get something that looks like this. Now using the rotate tool click on an anchor point to pivot around. And extend and then grab the ellipse tool to create that first eye. And then use that cheeky duplication shortcut to create a second. Next, select the polygon tool and create a shape with three sides. Then, put the triangle between the two eyes centrally. And a little bit underneath this is going to be the nose. Next going to jump back to the ellipse tool. I am going to start creating the hat. And at this point, I'm going to select everything. Select the fill color and set it to none. Next, I'm going to select the stroke give this a black color double click the switch and check global click OK. And then from the stroke panel, we can increase the stroke width. Just picking this up a little bit. You can get me to outline mode with command or control plus Y which is essentially a wireframe view of your design. And you can see and just repeating that duplication shortcut and then using the rectangle tool to start to build out the rest of the hat. What I'm doing here is adding some fill colors to the main body of the hat. And I'm going to select the very top lips and I'm going to give this a fill color. And just make sure that it is brought to the front so it sits on top of everything else. And I'm now going to add global swatch for the main body of the bunny, as allowed me to edit this color from the swatches panel, rather than updating every single instance of that color manually on the artboard. I'm just taking a moment to finesse this particular color, and in a second I'm going to also start picking some other swatches with colors that are complementary to the first one. So when you're happy with your colors, click OK. And not going to start applying color to the rest of the design. So we have the eyes. We have the nose. The next I'm going to start creating the mouth now you can use the pen tool to create custom shapes yourself. Or you can use the ellipse tool to apply a stroke to remove the fill and then use the direct selection tool to select the top anchor point and hit delete or backspace to remove this. We'll leave you with a half circle as you can see here. And I'm going to use the scissor tool to make a slight cut just inside the edge. So the mouth isn't a complete semicircle. And I just fine tuning the shape and duplicating this to the other side. And then it will use the pen tool holding shift to just draw a straight line to connect this to the mouse. And you can see the right side of the mouth is a bit wonky. So from the property inspector, I can flip this around horizontally. And then just moved into the middle of the symmetrical, OK. With the main selection tool, you can select any object press A on the keyboard to switch to the direct selection tool. And you can click on the circular handles just inside the edge and use these to round off the corners. Now you can do this on individual corners what you can hold shift and select multiple corners and round these off together. I'm just going to make the face of a little bit taller by using the direct selection tool to select these top two anchor points and directories up to connect them to the ears. And I'm also going to select the pieces at the mouth and from the stroke, panel changes the cat type to round it just around them off a little bit. And you can see here I'm just picking up that stroke ever so slightly, and then using that same rounding corners technique just to round off the mouse. This next step, I'm going to create some more ellipses with the ellipse tool. Fill these with white no stroke, and use these to create white of the eyes.
And again I'm using the direct selection tool to adjust the overall size and position of some of the facial features. You can keep the straight away it's all the same, or you can vary them just had a little bit of diversity it's entirely up to you. Now using the rectangle tool to create the teeth. And the direct selection tool just to bring in those bottom two anchor points, this was a little bit. I needed to make the top of the teeth match the curvature of the mouth essentially. I'm using the direct selection tool to adjust the anchor points and the handles to adjust the curvature of the lines. We can apply the white fill, and I can fine tune is a bit further with the direct selection tool. Ok, so now going back to the head I'm going to duplicate the top it up slightly select the stroke, and then make this red. And with the direct selection tool select that top anchor point hit delete or backspace. And then thicken up with stroke ever so slightly next, with the red line selected we can go up to object and expand to confirm those changes. This is now a regular old shape, and we can change the fill color of this shape, and then creates more rectangles like so. We going to position either side and merge them together with a compound path between two object compound path make. And we can then select all of the red shapes, and use the pathfinder panel to knock the top out of the bottom. And I'm just going to fine tune my design by making some minor adjustments to the position of some of the facial features. And then I'm going to zoom in and grab the pen tool, and use this to create a custom three-sided shape that is going to act as a shadow for the right here. So I can set the strep to 9, and then pick a color ever so slightly darker than the main body color of the bunny. And creates a square that is the same width and height as the artboard. Then go to object arrange send this to the back. And then go and change that color or pick a color swatch from the swatches panel. Something similar to the bunny here. When you're happy with absolutely everything to drag over everything to select. Go to object expand, expand everything, then hit OK. We can go back up to object and group it all together. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.